I'm excited to announce the next commitment because it aims to improve both food security and sustainable design practices and use the latter in large-scale construction projects to support the former. So I ask you to join me in welcoming to the stage Hassan Abdullah Al-Tawandi of Qatar 2022 Supreme Committee and Fahad bin Mohammed al of the Qatar National Food Security Program. I would like for them to describe what they intend to do. So I'd like to ask Hassan to come and explain his commitment. Thank you very much, Mr. President. And I'd like to thank the uh, Clinton Global Initiative for uh, offering us the honor uh, and the stage to make this important commitment. Now, ever since we in, uh, embarked on our journey to host the World Cup, we bid on the, uh, on the belief that the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar will act as a catalyst for positive change in Qatar, in the Middle East, as well as beyond. Now, we've been working tirelessly ever since to sow the seeds of that progress. This includes the entirety of sustainable development, starting from improving workers' welfare within the country to developing lasting food and water security solutions. And today, we are excited to announce our commitment to food security research as a step towards seeing sport lead in this critical area of development. Sports has long been something that was shared across boundaries, politics, cultures, as well as generations. Sports has the power to unite us, it also has the power to inspire us. And in Qatar, we are embracing its power to challenge us to reach even higher as we prepare to host the World Cup in 2022. Now, as we welcome the historic first FIFA World Cup within the Middle East, we are committed to celebrating the power of international sport to bring critical issues to the forefront. Now, whether we call it football, or whether we call it soccer, so football for me, this presents us with many different opportunities, not least of which is the opportunity to improve global food security and build a future for all of those who call our region home. That is why the Qatar 2022 Supreme Committee joined with the Qatar National Food Security Program to create a joint research and develop initiative that aims to bring food production to the parts of the world that need it the most. In 2010, we constructed a carbon neutral 500 seat stadium that utilize renewable energy powered cooling technologies to cool the stadium. Now through our commitment, we are building upon this successful prototype. We will be developing a covered training facility that contains a 10,000 square meter football pitch as well as a 700 square meter area for growing food. This commitment will prove the effectiveness of using solar powered hybrid cooling applications and converted football facilities for food production within climates like ours. The widespread application of this innovative technology will enable farmers to increase the quality and productivity of crops while at the same time decreasing the amount of water and energy consumed by agricultural production. Now while I look forward to welcoming you all in Qatar 2022, I would like to invite you today to join us in this challenge. From cooling experts, to football fans, from scientists, to students, let's utilize our love of the sport to utilize the 2022 World Cup to make a difference. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, I just want to say one other thing because um, I was present in an American delegation that tried unsuccessfully to get the world cup bid when they made the bid and they made another commitment which is not part of their commitment here but I think it's worth noting they promised that after the World Cup because they had more stadiums then than they would need on an annual basis they would take down all they did not lead and give those stadiums to African countries so that they their teams could play in good venues and have presumably the same kind of impact that the orchestra has had on these Mexican young people. So I want to thank them for that and for the sustainability challenge.